apps are crazy. You don't have food, just open an app and order some food. You don't have groceries, there's an app for that as well. Medicines, apps. Dating, apps. Dating apps. Dating apps have just exploded onto the scene over the last five years. All of them look different, feel different, but they have one thing in common and that is finding a special person for you. You have apps like Tinder, Bumble, OkCupid, Grindr, a lot of variety out there. But how exactly do they work? We're going to find that out in this episode of Elemental where we talk about the smaller things in tech that make a much bigger impact on the real world. You can catch us every Sunday at 1 p.m. And if you love this series, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of our latest videos. Now, fair disclaimer, this video isn't going to give you dating tips or stuff like, you know, what photos to put on dating apps or bios to put on your dating app so as to get more matches or the best matches possible. I honestly think that's a different thing altogether, which requires a lot of voodoo science and you should actually just portray an image of yourself that is you and not a person that you want to be to get more matches. But that's not the point, we are digressing. The point is that this video is going to strictly talk about the inner and outer workings of dating apps. On the surface, dating apps work in a fairly straightforward way. You create a profile either by logging in with your phone number or social media account, add some info about you, come across some new people, and then make a decision of whether or not you want to match with a person. But once you take a deeper dive, you'll start understanding a lot of stuff about how every single one of your decisions is actually a part of a much larger maze. Dating apps take your data like dating preferences, location and personal information to find relevant people and display them to you using an algorithm. Huh, that sounds eerily similar to search engines. That's because it is. Search engines also use algorithms to find a relevant search query for you. It's just that in dating apps, no one is actively searching for you. That's the job of the dating algorithm. If you wanna learn more about algorithms and search engines, I've done an elemental video on that as well. So I highly recommend you to go watch that. Now, your data can be taken in a variety of ways. Apps like OkCupid ask you specific questions like, do you like pets? or are you a big religious person, stuff like that. It then asks you what answers you would like to see from your match. Now, there are certain other minor important details that the algorithm considers as well, like some answers to certain questions that have a higher weightage than others and talk a lot more about you. Finally, it compares this data to a bunch of profiles in the area that you have selected and voila, you have a compatibility score on the basis of which you may or may not choose to match with a profile. Now, while OkCupid uses a lot of explicit questions, different apps may have different ways and different complex ways of finding and displaying matches for you. And this depends a lot on a variety of other factors like the way you use the app itself. A majority of apps use a card-based interface in which profiles are shown in a stack of cards and you basically choose to either match or move on. Many card-based dating apps use a desirability score or an ELO rating system which has roots in, believe or not, rating chess players. Tinder claimed to have used this in the past but now it says that it has a different way of matching people which it hasn't revealed properly. In the simplest terms, you rise in the ranks based on how many people swiped right on you or liked you, but that is weighted based on who the swiper is. The more right swipes that person had, the more their right swipe on you meant for your score. It is basically a live feedback system in which you are constantly rating and are being rated positively or negatively mindlessly without caring as much about its effect rippling down on other profiles. Think of it this way, even if you follow all the guidelines that are set by dating apps so as to give you more 
matches or more relevant matches, you may still not end up with them. That has a lot to do with the strictly superficial nature of the apps in which you are just given a bunch of seconds to figure out whether a photo or text is you know displaying or portraying the right kind of the person for you okay so what if you don't get too many matches there are paid ways to do the same as well right well as much as dating apps want to portray an image of being friendly to the love seeking audiences out there they are at the end of the day still money making machines and as you might have guessed the more you make users feel helpless the easier it is to get some money out of them so you have stuff like super likes or super swipes for these the app has to set the algorithm aside it's obligated to push your card closer to the top of the pile of the person you just super liked this doesn't guarantee that you will get a match but it does mean that a person who has a higher desirability score will be provided with the very basic information that you exist then you have subscriptions ranging from tiers like plus gold and platinum that let you see if a person actually liked your profile set a wider location preference and in some cases give you a boost that claims to show your profile to more people sadly there's very little data on this whether or not it actually works further the prices of subscriptions don't vary from plan to plan they can also vary from different age groups for instance tinder has different pricings for users above and below the ages of 30. now all of this may seem discouraging to you if you have watched this video so far but at least you have a much better understanding of how dating apps work and how your tiny little actions can have such huge consequences on just an app that's kind of interesting isn't it and i think that's the essence of elemental if you think about it anyway that's the end of this video if you use dating apps do let us know in the comments if you have found love on dating apps do let us know that as well a quick reminder that elemental videos come out every sunday at 1 pm so don't forget to subscribe to our channel that is gadget 360 and for all things tech log on to gadget360.com